I'm Mark Inger with Garage Gurus. In today's tech tip, I'll be covering replacement of the Teflon seal on the end of a gasoline direct injector. This seal is extremely critical since it has to hold back the pressure and temperature in the combustion chamber. Pressure can go as high as 1200 PSI and of course the temperature you're dealing with combustion fire so it's extremely hot. If this seal were to fail, the combustion gases could leak alongside the injector, eat a channel into the aluminum head, and destroy the cylinder head. So all of the manufacturers have a requirement that these seals are to be replaced any time the injector is removed from the cylinder head. Once the rail is off and you've got the injectors out of the rail, now you can concentrate on replacing the tip seal. The first step is to remove the old seal. So believe it or not, the recommended tool is a single edge razor blade. So you're going to make a diagonal cut across the seal. Then that will allow you to pull the seal up off the, off the groove. Then you want to inspect the groove carefully to see if there's any dirt or carbon deposits in there. Be sure and clean it with a rag or use some alcohol if necessary to make sure it's nice and clean like this. Then in order to get the new seal installed on the tip, there is a tool kit that's available from several manufacturers that consists of two pieces. One is a forcing cone that will expand the new seal to oversize to allow it to go over the end of the injector. The, in, the seal can't go over the in, end of the injector unless you expand it out. So I put the cone on there, install the seal, and push the seal on as far as I can just using my fingernails. Then to get it on the rest of the way, we use this end of the tool to push it on and it'll expand it to oversize so that it can then slip into the groove. But now you can see the seal is actually too large. So what I need to do is use my fingers and I try to compress the seal back down to normal size at least get it started just using my fingers. It's still too large to go into the hole in the cylinder head though. So the next step, the inside of the same tool is a reverse cone that will actually shrink the seal back down to original size as I shove it on. So let's give this a shot. Now we'll shrink it back down to original. There it went. And what the manufacturer recommends doing is leaving this cone in place for at least 60 seconds. That way the new Teflon seal will take a set and it will stay at this new size. Okay. So after a minute has elapsed, you can go ahead and remove the tool. And now you can see our new seal is in place, correctly installed. The last thing you want to do before reassembling everything is to make sure that the hole in the cylinder head that this injector fits into is clean and dry. And again, you'll use a cleaning rag, a little spray solvent, and run a rag down in there with a screwdriver to make sure it's nice and clean and then you're ready for installation. Uh, one other precaution, make sure you don't use oil during any part of this process. Any oil getting on the Teflon seal can ruin its sealing capability and cause a leakage later on. So everything goes together dry. I'm Mark Ingram with Garage Gurus. Thanks for watching. And for more tech tips like these, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.